Hello everyone, my name is Vicky Zhang. I'm a senior researcher at National Acoustic Laboratories in Sydney, Australia. I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to talk about a proof of concept study that we used an AI method to assess children's speech intelligibility performance. Let's have a look at the background first. What is speech intelligibility and why it is important? The speech intelligibility refers to how well or clear of a person's speech can be understood by other listeners. It is an important part of communication and actually is often viewed as the benchmark for oral language development. Most typically developing children can generally acquire this skill by the age of four. But for children with hearing loss, it is often more challenging to understand their speech compared to that of their normal hearing peers. If a child's speech is not that clear to average listeners in real life, it can lead to significant challenges in their communication skills, social interactions, and overall development. So the next question is how we can accurately and efficiently measure the speech intelligibility. The best method for assessing this skill is still under debated, depending on the choice of speech materials, assessment methods, and the listener experience. Currently, there are two main methods in use. The traditional transcription method involves different inexperienced listeners to listen, transcribe, and score the children's speech samples. And this method is very time consuming and costly. While it is more accurate compared to the other rating scale method, it is impractical for widespread use in clinics. And another rating scale method is much faster but only give us an overall impression of speech intelligibility without the word level of details information. And both methods are subjective, so the results can vary depending on who is doing the evaluation. So there is a need to develop alternative way to measure children's speech intelligibility in a reliable, objective, and efficient way. This study aims to investigate an AI-based method for assessing children's speech intelligibility, and also to compare the consistency of the transcriptions between the AI and human listeners at the word level. The speech samples we used in this study are 2,990 speech sentences recordings from um, five years old native English speaking children without any other disabilities. And among these recordings, 550 sentences are from children with normal hearing, and the rest sentences are from children with hearing loss. And each sentence includes three to eight syllables. We then recorded 69 adult native um, Australian English speakers as the listeners to listen and transcribe these children's speech samples. All the listeners had normal hearing and no experience um, interacting with children with hearing loss before. That's why we call them as naive listeners. And to assess, to assess the children's speech intelligibility, we had at least the three adults transcribe exactly what they heard, word by word, for each sentence. And each listener transcribed and scored three different children's speech samples, at least one child with normal hearing and one child with hearing loss. Then selected 18 pre-trained AI transcription models, ran them through on all the children's speech uh, for both normal hearing and hearing impaired groups, and then review the results to compare the overall accuracy of each AI transcription model with the reference sentence list. Mm -hmm. um, because of the time limit, I won't dive into the details of each AI model's performance in this talk. I will share the comparison results between the top performing AI model and the results from naive listeners. If we consider the selected AI model as one of the readers and perform the statistical analyze to measure the consistency of the results among the readers across different groups of children, including those with normal hearing and hearing loss, and separate the hearing loss into cochlear implant users and hearing aid users, we find the 
word level intraclass correlation coefficient, or the ICC results, showed that among naive listeners, we observed a high level of consistency with ICC scores very close to 1. And the normal hearing group shows the highest ICC scores, while the hearing aids group has the lowest scores. When we compare the AI results to those of individual naive listeners, or an average result from all naive listeners, the ICCs also show strong agreement. There's a similar trend as shown in the normal hearing and hearing aids groups. We notice that the overall internal consistency is a bit lower in the hearing aids group, and this suggests that there is a greater variability in transcription among the recordings of children in the hearing aids group by the raters, which may also indicate that children with hearing aid speech is more challenging to be understood to listeners. Now let's see how AI performance in assessing the speech intelligibility performance among children using different device groups. This figure shows the overall percentage correct scores provided by the AI model. We can see that children with hearing aids have significantly lower speech intelligibility results compared to their normal hearing peers or children with cochlear implants. And children with cochlear implant have similar speech intelligibility outcomes with their normal hearing peers. This suggests that the AI model can not only distinguish speech intelligibility performance between the normal hearing and the hearing loss groups, as naive listeners can do, it can also differentiate the results between cochlear implant and hearing aids groups. A summary of the key findings from this proof of concept study. Um, our results showed that the performance of the AI model is highly comparable to the results of naive listeners. And this consistency is also similar to the internal consistency that we observed in human beings across the speech samples that collected from different groups of children. And overall, this AI method for speech transcription uh, provides a more efficient and objective way to automatically assess speech intelligibility in children. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about this study, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.